Hey ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's Kel Freezy here and today I have got another episode 6 I believe it is and like I said guys, I will be bringing one you later today after my team of the year video which was very mis... Uh, mis... mistaken, I don't know, you guys took it the wrong way. Th that is not my team, people. Uh, that's EA and what they've done, but I'll talk about that in the, in part 2 of that video. Uh, people com got it completely wrong on some of the things, but uh, I'll explain that in that video. But yeah, so we're playing this game, and uh, I've run into Josh. Josh Flip 1989 and uh, he obviously, as you can see from his team, his team is far more superior than mine at the time. Uh, he's got a much better team than me, and I was very upset about this, but you know what he said to me? I was like, hey, I don't have a very good team, so just play for good goals only, okay? And uh, you guys can't see his team because that's just unfair at the moment because he, it's much further than he's actually gone, but uh, you're not allowed to see his team, so... Uh, yeah, so we were like, good goals only, and he was like, yeah, 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 alright, sounds good. So I was like, right, okay, good goals only. And you guys will see what fucking happened, the dirty little dong. He was, he's a little skeeving bastard. By the way, guys, I'm just joking, I actually, me and Josh are friends and stuff. But, uh, it just, yeah, I just want to put that out there with the, the recent confusion. Confusion. But, you know, Cassano, you guys, I think it's in a few more games and later, you'll see him just hit free kicks like just a boss his accuracy is amazing uh i haven't been playing i haven't played on this account for ages now uh because i've been back to school and school has taken over and stuff but i mean I, i've i had luckily over the easter holiday i saved up a lot of gameplay and look i thought he said good goals guys i was pretty sure uh he said good goals maybe not fucking faggot piece of fucking asshole and then you know you know you know me guys straight off the kickoff Cal's like, mm, I want a piece of this action again, and I just slotted there, and you know what, that is a good goal, outside the box to me, is, is considered a good goal, and then I pulled a fish on him, so I was just like a massive F you in his face, little faggot, um, but yeah, so unfortunately, this does go against my record, uh, which is really, really annoying, because it just drives me crazy, and then look at that, he does one simple elastico, and that's supposed to claim as a good goal, little faggot, but, uh, yeah, guys, I don't mind, like, a lot of people say, Cal, why do you always complain about people scoring shit goals? Now, I have no problem with people scoring them online, uh, when I'm playing them. But what does frustrate me is when I'm, like, on the Twitter followers and stuff, I say, good goals only, and stuff like that, and then they don't. But if I go online, I'm fully expecting that. It's like, I, I don't really like to do COD comparisons, but it's like saying with your friend, right, dude, let's do 1v1 snipers, right? Let's, let's do that, and then... He goes, yeah, 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 sure, okay, and then he just whips out a UMP. It's like, where's the fun in that? But look at that slide through ball, and Cassano finishes it really well. Uh, I highly recommend having a uh, one of your very first few purchases because, like I said, guys, one of my um, weaknesses was being a. I don't know how it didn't go in there. I had so many chances and stuff, but. One of my weaknesses was defense, so I decided to bulk up in the defense, buying Champagne Boy, like I said before, and then I moved on to the attack, and when as soon as I started getting my attack, I started to win a lot more games, and I started having a lot more fun, so I had to sacrifice a bit of time and coins to buy a good defense, but I think that did save me in the long run, and now I've got two really strong center backs, and uh, those are Champagne Boy and, what do you call it, uh, Nesta. But yeah, guys, so, I mean, are you guys enjoying this? Sorry, this is a short episode, by the way. It's just that I brought out a video earlier today about, uh, what do you call it, that uh, team of the year thing, which I will be doing a follow-up to because a lot of people were misunderstood me, and I feel as though I probably could have done a better job on it. But yeah, guys, that's uh, that. I think I won that one 1-0. I probably could have beat him a lot more, but what I'm finding is people leave a lot if you start beating them a lot, or you start doing a lot of tricks, so you just have to watch out for that. And then I was like, right, I've got a good... A center attacking, uh, I got good attacking, got defense, now I need to strengthen up the middle. So I was like, I need to get me a De Rossi. His long shots are insane. He plays for Roma, Syria, and uh, you guys will see more about that later. But uh, I put him in there for that guy, and uh, he fits in well. You can see how my team looks. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Please leave a rating. Could we get 250 again? It is awesome. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching, and uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.